go. Just setting up the audio. This is a narrative recap of the Maui horse race. Because we managed to get game sounds and video, but we didn't get anything in the voice chat, which is probably a good thing. Because we had five people talking all at once. So, it's about 1 o'clock Central Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are gathering in the Open Horse Ranch on Maui looking for other jockeys. So, Akela's here! Yeah, everybody, this is Akela or Palm. She has her horse. It looks like she's ready. And um, about ready to head out to Maui's warp area to see other jockeys show up in time for this event. So, oh, we have another one! Here we go. We have Mr. Gypster. And I asked whether or not he needed a racehorse. So he said that he wanted to spectate, which is fine. And then I invited people to practice on the track as much as they wanted. And I decided not to race because I built the track. And I figured it would be a lot better just watching people enjoy the race. So... I wandered around and I asked people whether or not they needed racehorses or saddles and everybody already came well prepared. So this is a stable area that we have on Maui that people built in preparation for this race. <laughs> so we're just waiting for daylight and we're waiting for the real time to go at 2 o'clock so we can start the race. So I'm typing to other people in chat. So, as you see in the open area on Maui, we have chests of food and this cobweb-filled tree is a cloudberry tree that I designed that catches phantoms so we can hide and get away from them. And here, it looks like I'm typing in Discord. <laughs> and back to the game. So we're waiting for other people to show up for this event. And here it is. A couple people are at the starting line. There's the green line behind the monarch butterfly. And the Maui's race is that's previewed in the video on the Maui channel. Where what the jockeys will do is they'll run in one direction. And then when they return to the screen line, they'll flip around and race the other way in the other direction. <laughs> well, people were chatting and having fun. So, it's almost start time, but we're going to wait for dawn. It's almost then. So, I built Maui just to be a racetrack. I figured a lot of the events featured people giving away treasures and items and things like that. And I wanted to bring back a little bit of the competitive element. So, I figured racing would be good. Because, of course, everybody can breed up their horses. <laughs> So uh, there we go. People are chatting online and in voice. And then I'm typing the conditions of the race. It'll start soon. And the moon is setting, the sun is rising. And I'm moving my horse out of the way so the jockeys can line up. <laughs> ah, Rosie! Rosie's horse, race horse, is Media Noche. And he's the black horse lining up right there. And then we have another jockey. We have Akela. She's on a dark bay. And she's getting ready to line up too. She already knows the race. And jockeys have been practicing on this track. They've had an open invite to practice as often as they like. But now, this is the day. So I try to transport, and you'll see me zip off in the middle of nowhere. I was trying to bring another person to Maui, but I got stuck in the land. So I had to cut myself free, and then I warped my way back and explained how I got hung up. Because I TP'd wrong. I always mix up the TP versus the TPA. So once I get myself free, we'll go back to Maui. How many times has this happened to you? Well, it didn't work, so I went disconnected from the game, and then I went back. And I was able to return. There we go. So then I explained to everybody that I got stuck in the world, and that I had to come back to Maui. And now I'm running back to the racetrack. But, because I'm recording the video, some of the chunks didn't load. 
So you can see some of the effects that happened here. <laughs> Horses floating in the air. And finally, now I can see where I'm going. That's just because I had high-resolution video. And there's Spad. That's the player that I was trying to retrieve, and I teleported wrong. And we're going back up to the start of the race. So, yeah, we got magic horses. They fly. Oh, did you see the Maui secret? It was revealed. Just down below. <laughs> and we're about ready to start the race. Oh, Lady Vivian shows up. So this is where we pause the start of the race again to wait for her to gather her horse. And I'm moving my horse out of the way so I don't get in the way of the racers. And here's Spade. Then I asked again whether or not people wanted to race, whether they needed horses, and a couple of people said they just wanted to watch. This is a five-minute race. I figured Saturdays are so busy with people building and with events that it'd probably be good just to do something short. Yeah. So people are getting ready to find seats to watch the race. And the software that I used to record this was brand new. It's just freeware that I grabbed. And I wasn't even sure that it was recording, but it turned out okay. <laughs> so now we're waiting for Lady Vivian to gather her horse. And other jockeys are practicing and warming up. Yeah, I like the idea of race horses on the server. It's so neat, because you never know who has the fast horse, who has the slow horse, and you can breed them up. Ah. Oh. I think it's a nice part of the game. <laughs> you can see on the side of the screen, I got some of the signs explaining what the racetrack is and what the prizes are. So, what the prizes were for the Maui Horse Race is that the win, place, and show jockeys each got to pick their choice bungalow that's built on the island. They can pick one bungalow to claim. And then they had their name that's going to be put on the volcano that was built by Golden Fron. So... Those are the prizes. They get to win a bungalow of their choice. It's theirs on Maui. And their name on a volcano tiki. So those are the prizes. And it looks like everybody ready to start this race. And then Spade said that he wanted to start the race out. So we gave the countdown to him. So we're having people line up. And we were talking about how the adrenaline was flowing. And it was really exciting because we didn't know how the race would go. So, we're waiting for Spade to count down, and Nursing Geek shows up. So we asked whether or not she wanted to race, and she said no, that she wanted to watch instead. So Mr. Gipster, Spade, and Nursing Geek were here, along with Lady Vivienne, and then the other people that you see listed here. We have Rosie, and we have my Palm was here. She's a new member who's my niece, and she's a Kayla. Yep, and then we have a couple of other people that you see. So the race is about ready to start, and we're just waiting for Spade to count down. Now Rosie's here. Ah, we got another person down there to see if there's any more jackies if they want to come. Ah, here they come. So Lady Vivian looks like she has her horse. She's ready to go. And they're lining up. And Spade is ready to do the countdown. You'll see that in the chat coming up pretty soon. So I'm trying my best to stay out of the way here. <laughs> and here we go. Two months work on the island of Maui to create this racetrack. And it's ready to become a reality. And here we go. Here comes the countdown. Just a moment or two. <laughs> Here it goes. Ready to start the road to Hana. Maui horse race track race. And they're off. We have our horses. They're rushing around the track. The other spectators are running on the other side to cheer them on. And here I am. Angel Serene decides to spectate. She's over here. We're trying to find the best view. So what the jackies are doing is this is a cross country course. And they're racing around the island. And it's a very complicated course, and they have to stay on this red sand path the whole way. So if you see that house in the distance where they have the red sand beach running along the top of it with the big, tall, white palm tree, 
Here, I'm nodding to tell her that this is a good view to see. <laughs> and the racers will come from straight ahead over the top of the horse's head. And we'll see who comes out in the lead. Just give it another minute, 20 seconds, and you'll hear the other jockeys come. Ah, oh, this was so exciting because I know I couldn't see anything, but I knew what the course was like. <laughs> And below us, by the butterfly, that is a cove, and it has a condo in there. So if you visit Maui, you can go swimming in this bay right below us, right below the butterfly, and you'll be able to breathe. It's really pretty. I decorated it up with coral and a few Maui secrets. I'm not going to spoil it. So I have all those secrets. There are 20 on Maui. And today I went around and I video recorded all of those places and all of those areas. Oh! Here's our first races, and you can find those on the Maui channel. There's our first jockey jumping over the fence. And here they go, and the place jockey in the show. And they're starting their first lap around the track, and they're going to turn around at the green line and race the other way. There's our second place runner. Here's our first leader coming around the corner. And the third place horse. There's Lady Vivi, and her horse is bulking at the fence. Oh, no, she's got to back up a little, and then the horse will go over. Uh, maybe she'll figure out to go around the waterfall. There we go. There. Now she'll be able to continue the race. <laughs> and here she comes, our third place runner. She's coming around, racing up the side of the track. She's going to turn around at the starting line and then run the course in reverse, which makes it really hard. And here she comes. So now I'm coming to the other side to watch the jockeys when they make their final circuit to this side when they complete the race. And we'll see who wins the Maui racetrack. So yeah, we were all pretty excited. We were talking about stuff. <laughs> and a couple of people here haven't seen Maui before. And so they were climbing around and exploring things while we were waiting for the jockeys to run. <laughs> yep. El Duenden, this is first visit to Maui. And I think he was blown away by everything because he was climbing on the trees and having fun and all kinds of stuff. So it was neat. <laughs> and here we go, waiting for the jockeys. I'm trying to get a better viewpoint so I can see them coming from the bamboo forest down there. Coming down to a lower level. Wondering if I could see them a little better. There goes our leader, our winner, is Vote for Aim. That's Rosie. Rosie for the win on the Maui racetrack. Yay! Here I'm typing the winner. People in game can see. And then we're waiting. There's a Kayla. There's our place jockey. Yay! She takes place, second place in the international. And we're waiting for the third person. Here we go. Oh, someone's swimming. Let's see. And we're coming around the corner. We're hearing a pig man. We're trying to figure out where the pig man came from. <laughs> Yay! Let's hear it for our win and our place winners. We're waiting for the show to come. Waiting for our third place jockey. Yay! There she is, Lady Vivian. She crossed the finish line third. And here's our show. Yay! So we're all celebrating. <laughs> then in voice chat, everybody was talking about how their heart was pounding and it was a pretty hard race and talking about it. And now we're celebrating. Yay! So there you have the Maui horse race. <laughs> and then I iterated um, whether or not exactly what the prizes were so that they could each have a bungalow and a name on a tiki. And so I shared with them that the Seek Maui secret videos were posted on the Maui channel so they could explore and see if they can find them on their own if they didn't want to watch the video to find out. And then I shared that they could pick the bungalow of their choice with the winner, Rosie, being first to pick her first choice. There's 15 bungalows on Maui. And then Akela picking second. And then Lady Vivian picking third. And so what we do from this point on in the video is that they run around and explore Maui. So what I'm going to do is turn over this footage to music. So you can 
enjoy exactly how it was for us after the race. I'm not a very good narrator. This is my first video. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video.
let you dream of dream where do come true Oh, <laughs> 